up, friends? It's SJ Watanabe, and welcome to the day three of the 2016 Electronic Sports and Gaming Summit here at the SMX Convention Center. We'll take a look at awesome games and awesome tech by awesome people. Let's check them out. Rafael Marcelino, acting as a uh, team leader. Sir, ano ang uh, uh, bago technology ang mapapakita niyo sa akin dito? Ngayon, meron kaming uh, bagong release na monitor. Gaming siya, hindi lang siya yung ordinary. Meron siyang chipset na uh, for AMD. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, kapag meron kang graphics card na AMD, power cooler like that, compatible siya dito. Mataas ang response time niya, 144 Hz, 1 milliseconds. Ang daming Hz! 144 Hz. Nahahurt ako! <laughs> HyperX Transfer Protocol <laughs> Pangalan nila, sir? Uh, Martin Lopez Martin Lopez, kayo po ang? Uh, product Manager ng HyperX Ano po mga bagong technology ang mapapakita niyo sa akin today? One of our newest kasi is we have the headset stinger Then also we have the newest alloy FPS na mechanical keyboard ng HyperX Gano katagal na kayo sa mga na ESGS? Uh, two years Two years, wow. Anong mga i-expect namin na bago from ano, Kingston HyperX? Keyboard lang naman, pati yung mga bagong headsets. For the mouse, we are not yet sure kung ano yung mga ano. Pero still, uh, HyperX naman keep evolving and uh, upgrading their stuff naman for better playing performance. Big fan ako ng, uh, ng HyperX. Can I get free stuff? Um, <laughs> wow, you're tall. You, you are? Uh, yeah, I'm Jeremy Anderson from Activision and Production Services. What airlines did you fly to the Philippines with? Oh, what what airline did I fly in on? Uh, Cathay. Cathay Pacific is the airline. Oh, uh, how was it? It was good. It was spacious. I enjoyed it. Was, yeah. I enjoyed it too. Perfect. Huh? I'm still playing Advanced Warfare. And you already have Infinity Warfare. When is this coming out in the Philippines? This is coming out in the Philippines on November 4th. Uh, November 4th? Yes. Okay. What new features can I expect in Infinite Warfare? Infin Infinity! Yes. <laughs> Infinite Warfare, Infinity Ward, has developed uh, zombies for, or their own version of zombies for the first time. The plot is that the character gets sucked into an 80s film with zombies. And so you've got like the jock, a cheerleader, a nerd. Uh, rapper and all these characters are tasked with their own special abilities. They all have unique melee attacks uh, to be able to take on the zombies and for the first time you'll be able to create your own weapons um, that you use in multiplayer um, and be able to use your, your same rigs in zombies. So you have a shotgun that you really like, you'll be able to use that in zombies as well. Can I use two shotguns like like this? <laughs> I, well, you got a you got a Kimbo pistol. Actually, <laughs> 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 here with the technical representative of Thermal Tech, Ralph Belen. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about what products you have this year? Uh, we have a Thermal Tech Light Power, Top Power Grand, Thermal Tech Wonder Pro 240. Ring RGB edition. What's your name? Um, Denver. 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 From? I'm from CSB. This is the latest of the series of Castlevania, but it's called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. How is it different from Castlevania? Uh, graphics is more beautiful, more playable characters. Hi, my name is SJ Watanabe with Kyrie Irving. How are you doing? Hi, <laughs> right, what's your name? Elvin. Hi. You are the? Marketing manager at Enquad. Can you tell us something about your game? Um, basically, this is a uh, real-time action strategy game. Uh, basically, you know, players summon uh, heroes to fight with other uh, other players along the uh, the lanes on the battlefield. So it's actually a very um, you know action-packed game. Uh, very, uh, it has a lot of strategy involved. What is the inspiration for this game? The the game has a lot of heroes from different mythologies, you know, like Zeus and uh, you know from Chinese mythologies like Guan Yu as well. So it's across the uh, you know different spectrum of different kind of heroes uh, that is available. Can I get a free copy? Uh, it's free to play actually. It's free! <laughs> <laughs> Sir Alan? Alan from Monster Nods. Uh, Potion Punch puts you in the shoes of 
a bartending alchemist. So you have to make potions for your customers. So the other one? The other one is a, an ar a collection of arcade games, like time-wasting arcade games such as the Coin Machine, the Prize Claw, and uh, a variation of a Whack-A-Mole game. When was this game uh, developed? Potion Punch was released early this year, May. And Pocket Arcade, the second game, is in early access on Google Play right now. Uh, so, we can download it right now? Yeah, we Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you think this uh, game, your game, will uh, no, compete with the others of the same genre? Actually, that's a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> we, we've yet to see. <laughs> By featuring it on my channel! So, what's your name? Uh, Chris, C-H-R-I-S. From? Uh, Secret Six. Studio of Secret Six. You're the developer of? Oh no, uh, I was actually the producer for this. Uh, so I had a team of developer and an artist. The Panty Thief started out as an internal game jam that we liked so much that we pushed it into full-blown production. So it's already out on iOS and Android and it's free to download and it's free to play. Can you tell me something about the gameplay? So uh, Panty Thief is an endless uh, scroller. You tap Bogart to go up and you swipe left and right to go left and right. You have to collect as many panties as you can while avoiding the residents who come out of the building. Is that illegal? Of course not. <laughs> Each building has special panties that you can get. These special panties gives you abilities while you play. So some of them get you higher up in the building, some of them protect you from the residents, and some of them get you more panty points. It's all about the panties. You have to get as many panties as you can. So this is available in? It's available on iOS, iOS and, Android. and Android. Yes. Download now, JP. JB Tan, you're the uh, lead artist in Ubisoft Singapore. Something about the uh, Ubisoft Philippines? Uh, for Ubisoft Philippines, right now we're pretty much hiring from all our roles across the board. When did you start here? Uh, we start. I think we started operations around July, and we've already. We already have a small team operating with uh, some supporting roles in, in, in within the studio, R uh, right? And we're still continuing to hire. We're planning to get around to maybe 50 early next year. When is this based? Uh, Santa Rosa Laguna. Oh, pwede niyo ang kunin? Definitely. I have to go through the process. No exceptions. What kinds of people are you looking for? Uh, we're looking for technical artists, artists, programmers, uh, the development team in general, but also we're hiring for uh, a lot of supporting roles, uh, and that's, let's say, management, uh, accounting, finance, uh, tech, IT, uh, all roles across the board. I'm a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> So that concludes my 2016 ESGS extravaganza. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed. Follow me on social media, links in the description or somewhere in this frame. And thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.